I'm Simon Perriman. I'm here on Microsoft's main headquarters, and I'm here today to talk about the difference between a file and a folder. Essentially, the best way to think about it is a folder is your container, your collection of objects, your organizational unit. And within that folder, you put in the individual files. Let's take a look at this in action. Here we have File Explorer open, which is where we use to go and navigate our file system. You can see that I have a couple of folders. Within it, I have some files. Within the file system, you can have a folder that can have other folders or other documents in it. There's no limit to the number of subfolders that you can create and use. So I can create one subfolder after another after another. Again, this is how you're going to go and organize your different content and your different documents. To view more detailed information about the folder, you can right click on the folder and select properties. And it will tell you the number of files within that folder, the size of the folder, and give you some other options, such as protecting it and customizing it with a different type of icon. Similarly to a folder, with the document itself, you can also right click on the document to view the properties. Under the General tab, you get some basic information about the name of the document, the size, and when it was last modified. Under the Security tab, you can see who has access to this folder and what type of permissions. Under the Details tab, you get additional information about this particular file, who created it, as well as information about the content of that file, such as the number of pages, words, characters, and other relevant information that might help you without having to actually open that file itself. I'm Simon Perry.